Ah, there you are. Dad, can you tie my hair? Well, where else would I be? Don't want you missing work. Dad! Yeah, let me. It's toast for dinner, toast. I thought you could smell something. Well, there's no need to call the fire brigade. So Robert gave me his. <sighs> you say thank you. Thank you. That's OK. That's what brothers are for. What's on at the garage? It's ticking over. Well, stay focused on that. Whatever you say. Bye, love. Bye. See you later. What? The stuff I was working on last night, kid. I, I thought you were on the table, but you can't find anything down there. Bye! It's my big day today at work. Just get out, will you? Well, thanks a bunch. <sighs> Hey, no. No. Hey. No, no, Alfred! What? Oh, don't mind me, I'm just living here. Oh. Hey, there were no need for that. I've not long gone asleep. Hey, she has arisen. <laughs> Lucky slept on the sofa. Oh, I was drinking with Chaz and it gone too by the time I got back. I didn't want to wake you. Well, I wouldn't mind it if you did. Could have had some fun before I started work. <laughs> hey, Dad. <coughs> Andy. Katie. <laughs> Ignore her. She's got a hangover. Out all night drinking with Chaz. Why don't you go back to bed? Well, I've got work in a bit. I'll run you down there when you're ready. No, thanks. I'll walk. You might help clear your head. I was thinking we could clear the barn out today. I've just got to see a man about a dog. I've not said anything to him. No. Is this how you intend to rebuild your marriage? Sleeping on the sofa? Well, you look on the bright side. The day after tomorrow, he'll be locked up for months. Years, maybe. Hey, they've got him down as a whiskey thief, not an axe murderer. And then we'll have a party to celebrate. A proper shindig. That'll put a smile back on your face. Oh, I could do with that. Huh? Cup of tea, anyone? <sighs> Don't mind if I do, Lisa. Your boy sent you to buy them breakfast, have they, Mr King? Hmm. Sorry. Mind you, I suppose with um, Jimmy's wife away, you're all having to fend for yourselves. Sadie, that's her name, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Uh, thank you for this. Oh, you're welcome. Have a nice day. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You're welcome. Ah, good morning, Mr Skelton. How do you figure that out, Mr King? You know, you and I aren't all that far apart, really. We should have a drink one evening. Drop your building scheme. Drinks are on me. Edna, there's been a development. What sort of development? Well, I'd rather not say, but um, tell to others. Lens out at 12. Cheer up. Might never happen. I think that's what the protesters are open as well. Oh, tricky. Doing business in a village where one lives. No, oh, all the more reason why is they should trust me. Would I want to ruin my own village? No, but I think they'd resent the suggestion that it's yours. <laughs> Point taken. Anything else? Should you employ Charity Dingle as your secretary? Then why not? She's a police record as long as your arm. Well, at present it's only a temporary arrangement. But well, she's very good at her job. Very conscientious and very sharp. Mm. She's sharp, all right. You watch your back. Morning. What happened to your eye? Long story. Oh. Aye. Right. Don't you ever say we didn't treat you like a prince. Yeah. I'm comfortable enough. It's just that my stomach's all knotted up. Yeah, pre-trial nurse. Yeah, I'll get you something from the chemist. I prefer a natural remedy. I saw this programme on telly. You can cure all bodily ailments through something as simple as a foot rub. Uh, ooh, whatever will I think of next? Hey, you rub the correct part of my foot and that'll cure me bellyache. A bit lower, ah, and that'll do me shoulder. 
and I dare say if you rub the right spot, you will make me a very happy man indeed. Mm. Oi, there are children present. Oh, I deserve better than this. The condemned man living out his final hours. You should find me a sweet lass that I can whine and dine and fuss over. Steph Stokes, for example. <laughs> what are you talking about? My final demand. You will find me a wench by tomorrow night. I'll show her every courtesy and kindness, and in return, she'll reward me with a feminine smiles and a... I can't believe I'm hearing this. It smells like boiled cabbage in here. Uh, better than the smell of inside a prison. Why? For pity's sake, man. We've given you every comfort and sustenance. We've even vacated our marital bed. Very considerate. However, I am ensuring that you and Sam get off scot-free. So you make sure I enjoy myself properly over the next two days, or I'll see that all three of us suffer together. I'm sure someone's going to catch us. Oh, don't be soft. Eric ain't you back till tomorrow. It's only me. Oh, these look very newfangled. Yeah, sort of new line I'm trying out. Mm. Well, the two of us, together. Yes, most impressive. I wish you luck with it. Thanks. Now, you won't keep her late tonight, will you? I, I, I'm cooking you dinner. I haven't forgotten. Oh, we're meeting in the Woolly for a drink first. Yeah, six o'clock. Now, don't be late. Sorry I'm late. I bumped into Zoe Tate. Had a bit of a chat. All right. You, uh, striking up another deal then, you two? Listen, if you need any advice on how Zoe works, I have the inside nod. I can imagine. Oh, uh, have you got that file on potential sites? I took it home. Uh, after what you said the other day, how you were so busy with the cricket pitch development you were neglecting other projects. I thought it would save you time if I went through and um, checked which potential sites need chasing. What happened to that? Dog at it? He did, yeah. Didn't have thought much of it. Dad, uh, some uh, roofing and glazing estimates for you to look at. We need to talk through some figures. Right, I'll come with you. I'll make you both a coffee, shall I? No, thanks. Relations with the new secretary seem very uh, warm. Yeah, good, isn't it? Makes for a pleasant working environment. I suppose so. Katie must have left for work. The smell of a pub over here, do I go over wonders? You're right, Barrow last today, aren't you? Valda said a word all morning. Is Victoria okay? Yes, she's fine. Is it Diane then? Are things between you alright? Well, just about. It's like any relationship. Right. Sorry to hear that. Well, it'll blow over. Lee said, soon as mended. I just know I've got to get away from here. I know that for sure. I've got to leave him, Charles. So do it now, while you're young and you're gorgeous and you can start again. Really? Yeah, trust me. You haven't got a kid, you can make a clean break. Wouldn't it be best if I let him down slowly? Well, you can spend the next ten years doing that. No, best get it over with. Timing's important, mind. I were never very good at that one. So this one time, right, I'm cobbling together Sunday lunch and Gordon's in the kitchen getting on my flaming nerves. So, I turn to him and say, there's no point trying to hide it, I'm seeing somebody else. There's a ring at the door. It's his mum, all smiles, just dropping in on the off chance. Well, what did you do? I downed three bottles of red wine and made polite <laughs> conversation. <laughs> now, you're never possibly going to make more of a mess of it than that, are you? Oh, I won't be too sure. I think it's best to take it slowly. Katie? Some crates out the back need shifting. Right. I'll best get on. Thanks, Chas. Oh, oh Thumbshire. <laughs> was it the bloke whose girl you cracked on to, or was it the lady herself? <laughs> the bloke. And Donna slapped me too. Ah, oh, well, if you must play over the side, you've got to take what you get. Well, I never meant to hurt her. No matter what you meant, it's how we came across the hair that matters. One stupid mistake one evening, where I said and did a few things wrong. If you want to hold on to her, go and talk to her. Tell her how you really feel. And the sooner the better. Let's get her to listen. That's going to be the problem. Mm. Uh -oh. Leonard! 
you coming to the meeting? I'll be right with you, love. But you'll need to change. Yeah, j yeah, just a minute. Look, if Donna has feelings left, she'll listen. Just think about what you're going to say first, and then say it. Donna, yeah. That's good advice. I might just do that. Good lad. See ya. Landlady's taking a delivery. She'll be back in a moment. I didn't know you worked here. Katie. She's too young to serve you. But old enough to speak for herself. I've got nothing to say, Robert. Well, I can see you've said plenty to her. But I just want a chance to explain. You had all the time you needed yesterday. What's this? I'm just trying to straighten things out with Katie. Please, Robert, just go home. You heard her. Out! What's the matter with you? House petition. Well, I've got 27 names. Is that all? I intend to get many more. Oh, sorry I'm late. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I've just been way late by Zach Dingle. Tried to set me up on a date with Shadrach. Who on earth does he think he is? Oh, you're jealous. I said there's only one man in my life, and that's you. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Have you done? Oh, yeah, sorry. Good. So... Let me tell you all about the plan I've been hatching. Hey, I guess there was something going on there. Didn't I say it to you, didn't yeah. I? Say? Thank you, Len. I've been badging all local papers, and this morning I got word from a chap on Thotton Courier. He'll be at Cricket Pavilion, half nine tomorrow morning, bringing a photographer. So we need a good turnout. Right, well, I'll go and spread the word. Oh, exciting. We're going to be in the newspaper. Oh, <laughs> better get my hair done. Oh. <laughs> Shadrach, no chance, Zach. Huh? <sighs> so who have you approached so far? Katie. Katie? She's barely out of her wedding gown. And Laurel. Oh, Laurel, yeah. Well, she declined. <sighs> who else? I'm working on it. Oh, yeah, I can see that. <sighs> now, prepare to be amazed. I'll do the chalking. <coughs> Same again, Diane. Charlie! Hey, what are you drinking? Oh, no, I'm, I'm meeting Alan. Hey, well, you can have one with me while you're waiting. I'll be offended if you share no. Go on, then. I'll have a gin slim line tea, please, Diane. Thank you, <laughs> Zach. <laughs> <coughs> Something tells me you need to ask me a favour. Well, not so much a favour. More, uh, an act of human kindness for an old man down on his luck. Go on. A man whose days amongst us are numbered and who craves one last evening in the company of a beautiful woman. Oh. And what exactly would this act of kindness involve? Well, this fella will buy you a meal, one or two glasses of ale. You just have to do your best to make it seem like you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> There'll be no hanky-panky. That's completely out of the question. I should hope so. Yeah, in two days' time, this poor sap will be banged up behind bars. Oh, why? What, what's he... Well, nothing, but you know how it is with our Shadrach. Shadrach? Oh, yeah, I know, but... Well, nothing. Forget it. We'll, we'll, we'll give you expenses. No, we'll even pay you. Oh, please. Something wrong? Take me home. But I thought we'd been stop here for a while. Oh, quick. I didn't look yet finding me a choice bit of crumpy. You've put in a good day's work already. Not to mention the overtime. Did it help? It certainly did. It helped me come to a, an important decision. Oh? We're going to bid for that site on the far side of Otten. Good. Did you make any other decisions? About what? Me. You've obviously been giving the matter some thought, getting a second opinion from my old mate, Zoe Tate. So I'd like to know whether or not I have a future here. Fair enough. And I'll tell you. I'd like to offer you a permanent position. Well, do you accept or not? Definitely. Thank you. Working late? Oh, Eric! 
Oh, you're home early. Yes, well, I misunderstood which day I was due back. Uh, good flight? Oh, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Uh, oh, well, there's no need for you to go in there. Uh, why not? Well, I'd like to tidy it up a bit. Honestly, we've been that busy I haven't stopped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? You must be shattered. Why don't you go home and have a nice hot bath? Scotch on the rocks. You've persuaded me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so on every dingle in the book and they've all turned me down. Even Cholula. No. But she has a mate who works on a chat line. If, uh, well, Shadrach could settle for a phone call. So what does this mean, Dad? Hmm? What he's saying is, you and him had better pack your bags, cos in two days, Sam, you'll be at Her Majesty's pleasure. Nay, lad, there's still time. Someone's bound to turn up. Where are you two going for now? Well, we were just wondering if you might have a friend who would entertain Shadrach on his uh, last night of freedom. Oh, no, I can't say I have, no. Right, love. Hey, what are you watching? Nothing, my. Oh, just making conversation, you know, like families do. I ask you what you're watching, and you'd say, Don't mind me telling Mum, what hours you did at work? And I'd say, Really great, they offered me a permanent position. Did they? Yeah. It's not that your father could give a toss. Eh? Hey, what about? Whether I've got a job. Yeah, of course I do. It means you can buy us a pie, eh? Come on, let's go down to Wally. Actually, do you know what I prefer to do, Kane? The three of us, have an evening together. Have something to eat here. Talk to one another. You know, have a laugh. I think I'd rather go to my room. Right, fine. You you just go, Debbie. What are you laughing at? You. <laughs> go to hell, Kane. It is nice to have you here. A prize from the grasp of my daughter. <laughs> That's probably her. <laughs> Hello? Eric's back. We've got to shift those boxes now. What? If Eric finds out this was your idea. Meet me at the factory. I am so sorry. I'm needed. I promise you it, it won't take long. What, like yesterday? But just tell her no. I wish I could, but... Charity shouting about. <clears throat> hmm? Well, I said I'd take her out for a drink. She just went off on one. It's that job. It's doing her head in. Why are you all so down on her? All she's trying to do is get a few coppers together to pay her way. May I come in? Depends what for. I've got a few boxes I want to store. Is there any room in your barn? Boxes of what? Oh, Lisa, the less we know about what's in them boxes, the better. Oh, bit late in the day, isn't it, for shifting boxes around? Hmm, but I do have my reasons. Mm. So it's urgent? Somewhat. Mm. Well, then we can help you. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks very much. But it's favours for favours. Agreed? Agreed. Yeah. Well, you put them boxes in the barn and I'll meet you tomorrow to discuss terms. Great. <laughs> I'll go and tell Shell. Ah. Oh, we're in sack. Hmm. You're a real diamond. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Shadrach's dreams are going to come true, eh? <laughs> so, there it is. How many signatures so far, then? 83. And we shan't be asking for yours, seeing as you are in league with the enemy. Lots more jobs if the development goes ahead. New customers. That's all you're interested in, isn't it? You're as bad as each other. Mm. Hardly. You won't get me sniffing around the King boys, seeing which one I could pull. Come on, love. Part your pretty little self over here. Hiya, love. Hiya. A couple of pints, please, Diane. I'll see you drink. And I'm still working. Oh, five minutes. Come and join us. I need some fresh air, OK? I'll come with you. No, I'd rather be on my own. OK, 
Katie. Robert? I've been waiting ages. We've got to talk. There's nothing to say. You know how I feel about you. I just want to make things right between us. Two minutes. That's all I'm giving you. I've tried to keep him off the scent, but he's no fool. How's Katie been? So-so. Robert was in earlier. I told him where to get off. Katie didn't complain. I don't think he'll be back for seconds. Good. Well, I hope we've nipped this problem in the bud. Things you and Diane seem better. Uh, yeah. I suppose so. There is so much between us that is so special. When we're together, I can't help myself. Come along, Tootsie. Time for bed. She'll sleep a lot better having had a run. Jack and Andy are inside. They'll kill you if they find us. Well, I don't care. I have to be with you. So what happened yesterday? Forget that. My dad deliberately humiliated me. What else could I do? You could have told him that you loved me. Then never mind anyone else in your life. I come first. But you didn't say that. Because the only person you really care about, Robert, is yourself. You're a coward. Do you know that? You're not listening. Whatever there was between us is over now. How can you say that? You want... Katie, just hear me out. I am so sorry. It hurts, doesn't it? Well, learn to live with it because you had your chance last night and you blew it. So when the pain gets really bad, just remember who's to blame. Why are you doing this? Because I need to sort my life out. Well, tell me what to do and I'll do it. I can't lose you. You just have. 